Now here's some new symbols that we have for the uh, 2009 standard. Uh, current symbols are listed here. Uh, you can find these on page 1.7. And you notice all the symbols that we have, uh, they're pretty much all the same. There's been no change until we get down here in spot face. Now I know what we have is a spot face symbol. You notice it's just like the counterbore symbol. The only difference is we put an SF in the bottom of the bucket and that stands for spot face. And that spot face, what that is, is it actually designates the cleanup area. It's not necessarily the diameter, but the cleanup area for the spot face. Take a look at some other new symbols that we have. We have the independency principle, which is an I in a circle. That's new. And then we also have a continuous feature symbol, which is CF. Now here's some other symbols that could be associated with a feature control frame. You would find out. And you find out that uh, we have uh, the maximum material. Maximum material condition is applied to features. But datum features, what we use is we reference that at maximum material boundary. Uh, least material is still used for features. But when we're referencing datum features, we use least material boundary. And when we work with uh, features, regardless of feature size, we still apply to features. But when we're working with datum features, then we use regardless of material boundary. Now this material won't be covered in this particular unit. There's going to be a, some other DVs, Ds you're going to look at, and those will be covered in Unit 7. So when you get to that unit, you'll be able to see those. Uh, going down, the rest of the symbols are pretty much the same. You can recognize them. And then what's new here also is the translation symbol. The translation symbol is something that we apply to datum features. It looks something like this. This is going to be covered later on in Unit 9. We have the unequally disposed tolerance. We use this for profile tolerance. It's circle U. We're going to cover this here a little bit later in this unit. Here's another symbol that we have down here. It's all over. And you see what that is? It's an arrow, and it has a double circle. This here is all over. Now, there's really nothing too much new with that. Remember how we applied a profile tolerance sometimes, and what it said is, is all around? What we have is the all over. Yeah, the all, uh, all around symbol, that, what that did is that applied in the view in which shown, it was all the way around the outside periphery. And now the all over is kind of just all over now. So it's a little different, all around was in the view, and now all over kind of encompasses everything. All right, now here's our uh, datum feature symbols, and there's nothing changed there. This here is an, uh, our current symbol that we have. We're still using that for the 2009 standard, just like we did for 1994. This is an earlier one, right? The, that's for 1992, or 1982. And going down, all of our datum target symbols, everything else. And that right there, that's the uh, movable datum target. That's one of the new symbols for uh, 2009, that if you want the datum target to move, they use this little uh, bird beak on there called the movable datum target. And we're going to cover that in, uh, in Unit 8. You'll see that one. 